What does leadership mean to you? And what are your personal strengths that you feel will bring to the position of MLA for Barhead, Warrenville, West Lumberton? Leadership to me is all about stepping forward by example. By showing people that, that you care, and by showing people that you're going to work, and that you're going to get things done. Leadership is about proving to people by your, by your, life, your life example, by the, the work ethic that you have, and by the, the job that you do, that you are there for them and that you will invest in their future, believing in them, that they will come and follow behind you. I heard a, a, a naval commander in, in Chicago talk about leadership uh, just this past December, and, and he really talked about how it's, it's so necessary in order to build morale around, amongst the ranks, it's so necessary to let the people know that you have faith in them, and that you're willing to invest in them, and that you're willing to trust them. And Wild Rose is trying to fix health, education, the uh, municipal authorities with, uh, by putting faith back in the local authorities, by putting faith and trust, by showing them that we trust them to make wise decisions with the money and the programs that they have been charged with. Top-down centralized programming has destroyed morale on the front, front lines and uh, we have a lot of nurses and doctors that are getting very frustrated with not being able to actually make decisions and get things done. They are forced to be uh, boxed in in a system that uh, refuses to accept that they know what they're doing and we as a Wild Rose Party want to encourage them to find competitive innovation solutions at the front lines. Thank you. So talking about leadership, I think the two most important things are honesty and integrity. Um, here in town, I know that people uh, certainly don't accept, uh, whether it's politicians or whether it's their friends, uh, I'll call it politician speech or uh, dancing around an issue. Uh, they appreciate it when people talk to them directly, honestly, and they tell them the truth. Uh, I've certainly been disappointed for years how this town has been been treated by uh, by provincial politicians, uh, you know, being promised overpasses, being promised schools and projects to be completed on time, and only seeing them be delayed or, or not completed. Uh, I think that it's important that our MLAs uh, speak to people, they communicate to us in our community, and you know, okay, I live here in town, if you're if you're upset with something I've said or done, you'll see me at Sobeys and you can, you can yell at me about it. Um, I think that uh, it, it's this commitment uh, that what I'm saying is what I believe and what I do is because I believe it and because I've heard from you and because I want to fight for you. And that's something that the NDP believes in and that's something that I believe in. You know, um, in this budget, we see that the PCs are not listening, and that's not showing the leadership. They've increased taxes on everyday working families. They've introduced a new health care levy that asks you to pay for your health care. And uh, they, all at the same time, have cut from the services that we need, whether it's education, uh, not hiring any new teachers to meet the new demand of students, or whether it's in healthcare, where we're seeing increasing wait times in Edmonton and in St. Albert, where we have some of the worst in the country. Um, and, and I think that leadership is a dedication to solving the issues that we need to be solved and a commitment to our community. So that's what I would bring to the table. Question and um, I think that I agree with Glenn. The work ethic part is very important, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it was my work ethic that asked the, the reason that Premier Prentice asked me to join his cabinet as Minister of Culture and Tourism, in that I was seen to be working very hard. Um, collaboration is also a sign of leadership, where you can work with people. And I'm going to use the example of the overpass here at Cardiff where 
due to not just budgetary reasons, but also the acquisition of the land that was needed, the, it was taken off the shelf. The issue was safety at that intersection. So working with the town and the county, myself, we went to the Department of Transportation and said, we need safety at this corner. And we did achieve it with the set of lights. It's an interim solution that overpass is going to be needed, in the, hopefully in the near future, but we, we found a solution to a dangerous problem. I want to talk about diplomacy too, and that is um, an example, I, I get used to it all the time, of building the, the, rebuilding the steeple of the church. When McDougal Church in Edmonton was under threat of a wrecking ball, working with, again, the city, the church board, and ourselves, collaborating, we found a solution to make a historic landmark site. So it is going to be safe, just as the, the church here was. And it was the community that worked together. And when you have leadership that encourages that collaboration and works with you, that's when we achieve great things. Thank you.